All right, so today we're taking a deep dive into something that I think a lot of you are going to find super interesting. Yeah, this one's really cool. We're going way back in time talking about Neanderthals. Neanderthals. And specifically, how they interbred with modern humans. It's something that we all have a personal connection to, right? Because it's part of our ancestry. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got some really interesting new research to dive into today. So we're looking at a couple of papers that were highlighted in trending research, one from science and one from nature. Yeah, these are big journals. Oh yeah, the biggest, really groundbreaking stuff. And these papers are talking about a new timeline for when this interbreeding happened. And also some of the implications, like what it means for us today, which is really fascinating. Okay, so let's jump right into it. How these groups even encountered each other in the first place. Exactly. So we're talking about Neanderthals hanging out in Europe and Western Asia while early humans were evolving in Africa. How did they meet? It's a fascinating puzzle. I mean, think about it. 50,000 years ago, what did the world even look like? How did these groups travel? Did they migrate for resources? Did they bump into each other by chance? There's so much we don't know. Absolutely. And, you know, well, it turns out that some Neanderthal genes were actually beneficial for modern humans, mm. especially as they were moving out of Africa and into new environments, facing new challenges. Yeah, it's true. Pretty much everyone with ancestry outside of sub-Saharan Africa has inherited some Neanderthal DNA. It's estimated to be between 1% and 2% of our genome. Wow, so that's like a direct connection to our ancient past. It is, it's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Tiny bits of Neanderthal DNA are still influencing us today. That is mind blowing. Okay, so what kind of advantages did these Neanderthal genes provide? I mean, what were they actually helpful for? Well, some of these genes are associated with our immune system, like how our bodies fight off diseases. So imagine early humans encountering new pathogens in Europe, right? Neanderthal genes could have given them a boost in their immune response, helping them to survive those new threats. That makes total sense. Other Neanderthal genes are thought to be related to adapting to colder climates. Oh yeah, that's huge as humans were moving north. Exactly. Things like skin pigmentation, hair texture, even body shape might have been influenced by those Neanderthal genes, all helping them to thrive in these new environments. It's amazing to think about you know, it's not just about the past, it's about how these ancient genes are still impacting us today. Right. Our biology, our health, even our appearance, it's all connected to these ancient interbreeding events. So I'm curious, we keep talking about genes and the genome. Can you just give us like a quick breakdown of what those terms actually mean for those of us who aren't scientists, you know? Sure. So think of the genome as like a giant instruction manual for building a human being. And genes are like individual instructions that determine our traits. Everything from our eye color to our predisposition to certain diseases. Okay, that makes it a little clearer. So within that giant instruction manual, there are some Neanderthal instructions mixed in. Exactly. And those Neanderthal genes are still active, still playing a role. That's wild. So we've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive, but it feels like we've only scratched the surface. Like what other secrets are hidden within our genes? What else can we learn about our past by studying these ancient connections? That's the big question, isn't it? And as scientists continue to develop new technologies and analyze more ancient DNA, I think we're gonna uncover even more incredible things about our origins and how we're all connected. It's an exciting time for this field. It really is. So for everyone listening, if this deep dive sparked your curiosity, I encourage you to keep exploring. There's a whole world of research out there on human evolution and our connection to Neanderthals just waiting to be discovered. I'd say this is definitely a topic worth digging into. For sure. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be doing another deep dive on some even newer discoveries about our Neanderthal heritage. Sounds good to me. Until next time, keep exploring. Keep learning. And thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been a pleasure. See you soon. Bye for now.